What are we doing? What do you mean, what are we doing? Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm Mrs. Rhodes. And I'm Mr. Rhodes. And together we're Rhodes, Rhodes on, on the, the Road. road. Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's not Thanksgiving. It's Christmas! <laughs> but she doesn't like Christmas, so we'll probably cut this video short. The end. No. We figured we'd show you five, not one, not it, but five. Not any other number. <laughs> Stocking stuffers under $25. Yeah, outdoor related, obviously. Yes, obviously. So if you have somebody in your family that likes to hike and do things, uh, this would be great. If you got somebody's name in a drawing and you're not really sure, these are good too. Um, also, if they already have them, that's okay. Yeah, because some of these things, you know, it's, it's, it's okay to have more than one of. So, let's get started. Let's do it. Number one. A life straw. Never heard of a life straw? Uh, well, they're awesome. They allow you to drink from any source directly. Um, I've like seen- Like this. Oh, I just broke it. Oh, that's probably not a good thing to put Yeah, in she there. vapes. Anyway, so the life straw is awesome. I've seen people drink water from a dirty toilet um, with it. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but they do it, and apparently the water it's comes safe. out good. Um, these things can, let me see what the number, the, yeah, filters up to 1,000 liters of water. So you take that little guy, put it in your backpack. You don't have to bring a big bulky filtration system if you want to drink out of a stream, uh, a lake, a pond, a uh, water puddle even. Um, and we boom. we tried it on our we trip, yeah. so we will insert footage of that. Yeah. But um, we like it. It allows you to, I, I mean, I just love the novelty of being able to taste the water of every state we were in, which was really cool. You just go up to any stream, uh, lake, lake, pond. <laughs> and the best part, it's only $20, and it fits very nicely in a stocking. It would also be great in a survival situation. If you have your own water and you're like, I don't really care, uh, you know, I, I, I have a water bottle. I'm not gonna uh, be needing to drink out of any streams. Well, this thing doesn't take up a whole lot of space in your bag. So you just throw it in, kind of forget about it, uh, unless you need it, and then you remember it, and you go and drink from a stream instead of dying of thirst. Also, we just wanna say that we're not paid to show you any of these items. We would like to be. <laughs> these are just items that we have used, uh, either on our trip or since then, and really like and think that you guys will like them too, so. Just want to point that out. Item number two. Yes. You all know that we like to hammock camp. Do we do it well? <laughs> Apparently, Apparently, you know, according not. to some of our more <laughs> vocal viewers, no. Um, uh, and we've tried a few different uh, hammocks, and this is one of them. This is the Grand Trunk. Trunk Ultralight for one. So this it comes in handy when we don't want to snuggle at night. We've also, I mean, this this is, I think, for the money, just which is anything. Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine, which is a heck of a lot less than some other yes. hammocks, uh, um, and this will get you right in the game. Um, I will say that the prices are mostly Amazon prices, so they will fluctuate. But we'll leave links below to uh, the Amazon where you can buy it. But anyway. Back to this. Yeah. Um, so uh, you can also sling a hammock up under your hammock if you don't need, you know, have need for two. Um, and you put all your stuff there. And it keeps Ooh. it off the ground. That's smart. Uh, we haven't done that. Yes, we have. When did we do that? 
We've done it. Unless I've done it in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure we've done it. Um. Uh, Okay, sure. I don't and, remember. And it also offers an extra I don't layer of insulation. I don't remember half the trip until I watch it on video. So. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is just the hammock. Yeah, it doesn't come so, with the straps. Um, since this is 5 under 25, that gives you a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle room. A wiggle room. A wiggle, wiggle room. Yeah. A little wiggle room to get some straps. Um, these are hammock bliss straps. Bliss. But, um, any, any straps, uh, you know, look at reviews, be smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you want to get some straps that are reasonably sturdy or else, you know, you string your hammock up and it's Did nice and off. off the ground and you wake up in the morning and you have, your straps have stretched out until you're touching the ground. So, you know, yeah, make sure you get straps that you don't want to fit on the butt by butt and stuff. Or you just don't want to lay on the ground. That's that's sort that's, of defeats the purpose yeah. of a hammock. Number three. A bag. Of. Of a Primus camp stove. Trail stove. Trail stove, to be exact. Yeah. Um. Let me go ahead and get it out of the package. But it comes in this nifty little bag. Yeah. How many stoves do you know that can fit in a bag? Probably a lot of backpackers, could name a few. But, um... Thanks, Adam. <laughs> yeah, 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 lots of them are expensive. They can be expensive. Uh, and you've seen us probably lugging around the big green monstrosity. Um, which was fine uh, Which is fine if you you're car camping car. and you can slide it in. But if you're backpacking, if you're trying to, you know, go out into the woods, that's... You know, that's a huge amount of weight, a huge amount of space wasted. This is your stove, man. Yeah, this little guy is your stove. I mean, he's not big, but pot fits right on him. Uh, and you might think, well, what do you do? How, what, how, how does this work? Where does the fuel go? Um, that's yeah. when this comes in handy. That's the fuel canister. Uh, this is 1770 something. Yep. So, again, it leaves you some wiggle room to get one Yeah, I think these. these guys range between four and five bucks, you know, to buy a, a fuel canister. So, uh... And it, they last, you know, a good long time. It even has a plus and minus. Yep, you can increase the flame. So, when you put it on, make sure it's turned off. You know, safety reasons. Dirt. So, you... Well, you never know. You say <laughs> dirt, but... And so, you just screw it on there and uh, turn it on and light it and... Psh, Oh. A stove. And then you disassemble, and it goes back to being a small little thing. Awesome. awesome. Like a transformer. Is that on your brain today? <laughs> I've been talking about transformers a lot, haven't I? Item number four. Good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> uh, these are minus 33's Merino Wool Day Hiker Socks. Ha. They are $13.49, that's on their website, <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, you could almost afford to get two pairs. They are one size, they're socks. Um, I wear like a size 6, size 7, and they're, a small fits me. I was going to say, they're not one size. You can get No, I mean sizes. like, <laughs> one size fits all? No, Yeah. that's not what I mean. I mean like, there's no male, female, they're like a unisex yeah. size. Um, uh, this I have size sock is this size sock, and this is, a, and they they tell you how it corresponds to. Uh, 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 anyway, we don't have autofocus on because, yeah. Anyway, blitz your mind. Wool's always good. We've talked about this brand before. Over They're and over. awesome. Um, socks always good. But this keeps them from sliding and moving around. That's yeah, a little sort of compression fit in the middle, the arch of your foot. Um, which I think is standard on a lot of socks. Uh, but, you know, being merino wool, they wick well, keep your feet at a comfortable temperature, not too hot, not too cold. They, um, you know, they're durable, warm even when wet. Also, what else can I say? Again, machine washable and machine dryable. How nifty. Right, you don't have to be as uh, precious with your wool and worry about it. I still can't turning dry into mine. baby clothes. 
There's some reason I just can't get to whatever make myself. But anyway, you can. Okay. All right. Number five. Books. <laughs> yeah. Books. I. I mean, can you overstate the awesomeness of a good trail guide or survival manual or any kind of travel guide? As long as it's in date, you know. Yeah. Hey, this hot hotel's great. Oh, well, guess what? Now it's a crack house. We were gifted this by my man, and uh, it's come in handy. I've never really used trail guides before. What? I've never. Oh, you always leave it to me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, but, oh, oh, honey. <laughs> this is really great. Um, she got this. For us before we even moved down here. A couple years. Uh, yeah, so I guess she's psychic. Yeah, but, psychotic. Uh, she's gonna watch this and you're gonna <laughs> hurt her feelings. You love her. She loves me. <laughs> okay. So if you know somebody that's planning a trip or has always wanted to go somewhere, the best gift that we want to give is to inspire. So inspire them to yeah. go and reach their dreams. Right, because they may need that just little extra push. Oh, you've always wanted to go to Colorado. Well, here's a handbook. Here's a handbook. And then they start going, okay, so this is a real place. It starts to give them definite ideas of where they want to go, what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, there they are. Wait. You don't have to worry about batteries dying. Everybody oh, has nooks It's always stuff. there. But, wait, not nooks. Amazon. It could be an electronic could be book. A Kindle. It anyway, could be a the batteries phone. don't die. We will leave some links below of some of our favorite books mm -hmm. uh, or places that we went. Mm -hmm. um, so there's five great gifts under $25 that you can get for someone you like, you don't like, you semi like. You, you got no. their name, so you're like, crap, what am I gonna do? What does this person like to do? I think they like to go outside. Maybe <laughs> I'll... Whatever. Anyway, so... Bonus material! So, um, just some little bits and bobs. That have come in handy, handy. for us. Obviously, you can get all of these as your one gift in a basket, all yeah. fancy. Yeah. Or just to add to these, since like I said, they a lot of them are under 25. So, mm -hmm. uh, fire starters, always great. Yep. Steel, flint, magnesium. Shave a little magnesium. Spark a flame. Or spark a spark. S spark a flame. Start a flame. Another great small doodad is some drinking water tablets, even smaller than the life straw, but still can save your life. Wet fire starters also will save your life. It's raining, it's cold. Oh, oh no, no, I wood. can't start a fire. Well, you're gonna need wood, because those things aren't no gonna No dry burn wood. Forever. No dry wood, yeah. A safety whistle. You know? For uh, safety. Yeah, break your leg out in the middle of somewhere. You've been out there for three days. Yeah, yeah, it gets really loud and really annoying really quick. Yeah. Um, but people can hear it, you know, as far off as a mile or something. So give play people a good idea of where you might be lying, dying. Happy okay. Christmas. Carabiners and doodads. Um, so there's the regular clippy carabiners. Yep, things to hold things. And then there's these quirky ones, which are bungees. Her. Yep. That you screw apart and then you screw it on and you clip and ta-da! Good for clipping things onto your bag. And uh, then you get a bunch in a pack. Good for clipping things together <laughs> in camp. Good for running, you know, rope through them, and rigging so up lines, all that stuff. It's just, just they're really handy. And they, again, don't take up any space. They're pretty cheap to buy. Um, Everybody's gonna like them. You never have too many carabiners or clips. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We hope you like the video. Uh, hopefully, this gives you ideas uh, for other people, inspired you, uh, or for yourself. Or for yourself. No, just no. a little something, something. Um, 
If you have other ideas for gifts, leave them in the comments so other people can read them. Um, like us, subscribe. See, she's sweet, we told you. Don't do something to <laughs> prove me wrong, little girl. Anyway, from our family to yours, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy 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 happy, 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 happy New Year. Happy New Year's, happy everything to any of our listeners. Um, I don't know, am I missing some obscure holiday? I if don't know. So, if so, happy. happy your holiday. <laughs>